Hi, beautiful souls. It's Steph and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share new videos every week teaching you how to get fit and get paid freelancing. Give a little tap on that subscribe button below to make sure that you stay up to date on when new videos are released each week. As you saw from the title, this video is all about how to become a freelancer. Step by step, what you gotta do to get yourself online as a freelancer to start making money. So as a little test to see who's paying attention, comment below money please so I know that you are watching attentive and ready to start making that money. Now in the last two videos I made I shared with you my story how I went from becoming a physical therapist to a health coach and now teaching freelancers how to make money online. The other video I shared with you how human design really helped guide me down that journey and really confirmed that I'm on the right path and human design can help you with your career decisions as well. So if you haven't already watched those go back and watch those first two videos as they're going to be really, really helpful for you to get a better feel of who I am and why I'm sharing with you this information. So today's video is all about the three steps to become a freelancer. I'm keeping things concise, organized, step by step, exactly what you need to do. So keep watching to find out. In today's video, I'll be teaching you the three main steps to get started as a freelancer. Without all the fluff, without all the super details, just the main three actionable items that you can literally do today to start making money online as a freelancer as soon as tomorrow. So when it comes to starting a new career or a new job, it tends to be a really long, drawn out process, right? You write your resume, you apply to tons of jobs, you sit around and twiddle your thumbs and like wait to see if anyone even gets back to you. And if sometimes they do get back to you, then it's a whole process to schedule the interview, have the interview, hear back about the interview, receive the offer. The list goes on. It's exhausting. But here's the good news. With freelancing, you cut out all of that. It is a very quick and easy process to get started as a freelancer starting your own online freelancing business with you as the boss. The corporate career world is slow age, old school, but the online freelancing world is much more up to date and hip with the times. It's fast paced, which means you can create your own freelancing business online and start making money tomorrow. Yes, it's that simple. So here are the three steps to get started as a freelancer, the absolute bare minimum that you'll need to do to get set up and start making money. All right, so follow me to my workstation. These days I'm working in the dining room. You know, I turned this back on office into a gym slash shooting studio. So the dining room is like my home office now. Forrester's hanging out waiting for us. So here is the first tip you guys. The first tip is to write your freelancing business plan. That's right. Freelancing is your own business too. And you have got to have a plan just like you would plan out a vacation, just like you would plan out launching something. You need to have a plan. So here's the thing. If you don't take the time to set out this plan, here's what's gonna happen. You're not gonna know who you're selling to. You're not gonna know exactly what you wanna sell and exactly how you wanna price things. So you've got to figure out these three things. Who are you selling to? What are you selling? And why? Why will people wanna buy this service? What is that pain point or thing that you are going to be able to help them with to make their life easier? If you don't take the time to figure those three things out, you're doomed because your gigs are gonna to be too generic and not niche enough. You're not gonna know who you're writing these gigs to sell to, who your target audience is. And you won't be clear on exactly what it is that you wanna sell. You see, it's simple to write a freelancing business plan. It doesn't take that much time. It's not like a normal business plan that's hundreds of pages. It can literally be just one or two pages and it's much easier, doesn't take as much startup costs, investment costs in the beginning. So take a half hour or one hour today and write down this business plan. What do you want out of freelancing? What are your goals to get out of it? What offers are you going to provide? Who are, you, who are you targeting? All of these things. Take the time to do this. You won't regret it. So here are the four things that I suggest you sit down on your computer and start brainstorming today 
for your freelancing business plan. Number one is your mission. This is your why. Why you're providing the services that you're going to provide. Who you're helping and how you're going to help them. Sum it up in a couple sentences as your mission statement. Number two is your target audience. This is your who. Who are you trying to sell your services to online? Try and picture them in your mind. Visualize what they look like. Who are they? Where do they live? How old are they? What's their business or their line of work? What are their interests? And most importantly, what are their pain points and struggles? How are you going to be able to help them get their desired outcome or goal? Number three is write down your services or offers. List out lots of different potential services that you could provide as a freelancer and be very detailed with them. So instead of just writing, oh, I'll be a copywriter, write out details within a specific niche that you love, are experienced in, or have education in. For example, I will write you a long format health blog post with three SEO keywords. That's a very detailed niche and service that you could provide. So go ahead and do that. List out 10 to 15 ideas that you have. Just throw them out there, brainstorm. And then when you're done with that, go through and star the top five. The top five that you think you would enjoy and you think would sell well and get started by sharing those first five offers. You can always add more later, you can always adjust them and edit them later, but figure out which five you really wanna focus on to start, and those could be your first initial five services. You can't start a freelancing business unless you've taken action and got everything set up and prepared ahead of time. So step four is make an action list. What things must you do before you can start selling these services online? Do you need to buy anything, invest in anything, subscribe in anything, learn anything, set up accounts with anything? What do you need to do? Visualize your workflow of what it will take to create the product that they want to buy, the online digital product, and deliver it successfully. What's the step-by-step -step and what do you need to buy, invest in, or set up ahead of time before you can do so? To give you an example, as I mostly provide videos and photos for online fitness businesses. So my action steps that I had to do before I could start creating these videos and photos for people were number one, I need to practice speaking on camera, building up my skills, talking in front of the camera. Number two, I need to have a camera and microphone ready. So I invested in a camera and a Rode mic. You could though use your iPhone, that's totally fine. Number three, I need to have a way to edit the videos. So I made sure that I had iMovie on my computer, it was free, and I took the time to learn how to edit videos myself, although I could have hired that out if I really wanted to. Number four, I had to decide how I was going to deliver these videos. They're such large files that I can't just deliver them on the freelancing platform. So where am I going to upload them and then share that link to the client? All of these things I had to think about and take action to prepare ahead of time before I could sell my services, right? So write a list of what you must do before you can click that publish button and officially start selling online. What things must be done today? Step two is to decide where you want to start selling your financing services. As an online freelancer, the possibilities are endless for where you want to sell or list these services at. So it's really up to you where you want to get started. I highly suggest checking out Fiverr.com as it's one of the most popular freelancing sites. It's easy to use, it's seller friendly, and it's where I have personally found the majority of my success. However, there are many other freelancing websites to choose from, like Upwork, Freelancer, Revelancer, Toftal, FlexJobs, Guru, LinkedIn, or even listing it on your own website or blog. Another option is to share it on your own social media platform if you have a large following. So there are thousands of options of where you could sell your services. Just know it's going to take several hours of your time to set up an account, become a freelance seller, create your services and offers, get verified, begin selling, etc. So you don't necessarily have time to set up 10 different websites for freelancing today. So instead I recommend just start with one, choose one and try it out for a month and see what you like and you don't like about it. 
about it and then decide if you want to continue with that one. Maybe you want to add on a second side, a third side, a fourth side eventually. Sure. The more options, the better. The more eyeballs on your services, the higher chance you'll make a sale. You're the boss. That's the thing with freelancing. You are your own boss. You're the CEO, the COO, the marketer, the accountant. So you have to call the shots. All right, so today I want you to choose one of these freelancing sites, create an account, and then follow their step-by-step -step instructions to build out your business plan and bring your business plan that you did in step one to life here in step two. Fiverr.com makes it really simple. You go in there, you create an account, and then you follow the steps to become a seller. When you're approved as a seller, then you can create your profile and then from there you can create one gig at a time. Your gigs are the services you provide. For example, I have a gig for selling videos, I have a gig for selling photos, I have a gig for writing blogs, etc. All right, so it is your time now to bring that business plan to life. Take a look at what your mission was, who you're selling to, and what top five services or gigs you want to offer, and go ahead and create them in whatever freelancing platform you want. Step three to becoming a freelancer is to research your competition. And I want to preface this by saying, we are not researching your competition to copy their gigs, copy their profiles, copy and paste anything. You're purely checking out your competition, doing research and just kind of soaking everything up like a sponge to then decide how you want to present yourself on your freelancing website. Now, Forrester and I know that it can be tempting to sometimes take the lazy route, but no copy pasting. So now that you've got your business plan written, you've signed up for a freelancing account, and you've created some services, it's time to research your competition so that you can really tweak and refine those services you're providing to make sure that you are, you know, a little bit ahead of everyone else that's also selling similar services. So what you want to do is you want to go onto that freelancing site, and you want to go to the search at the top and search a service similar to what you're providing, and then research what these other sellers are selling. Take an hour or so to search through that freelancing site and research what other people are offering that is similar to your own services. Pay attention to things like what exactly is included in an order with them, what is not included in an order with them. How are they marketing themselves? How many sales have they made so you know if this is something that's needed or not? What sort of packages, add-ons, or upsells are they offering? And what sort of prices are they charging? Look at all of things as you, these things as you research your competition. That way they can inspire you and you have an idea of, okay, how can I take things a step above? How can I market myself in a way to stand out more? How can I add one little extra service included in my offer that no one else is adding? Adding. How can I charge at a competitive rate that's not too low, but also not too high that no one's going to buy, right? So take the time to research this, and then you can go in and tweak your own gigs to make them a competitive compared to everyone else. Now know that it, sometimes it is an experiment, okay? In the beginning, you're kind of just taking this messy action to get your services listed online, but over time, you may need to adjust your gigs, adjust them, analyze the analytics, see how many people are landing on the search page, how many people are clicking on your service, how many people are buying, analyze how well it's doing and how well it's not doing, and then adjust the gig, adjust the description, adjust the images, adjust the prices and the packages over time. You see, there could be a hundred freelancers selling the same service that you want to sell online. So it's up to you to package it in a way with a pretty bow on top that makes you stand out. It makes it very clear that you're the one people need to buy from and not them. So let's go ahead and wrap up. I hope you guys found these three steps to become a freelancer helpful. Doing all these things I just mentioned will only take you a few hours most likely. And remember, this is isn't 
necessarily something that you have to be doing, right? To become a freelancer, you're starting off doing this as your side hustle. So make it fun. Choose the gigs that will excite you and you're excited to do these jobs because you're building up your dream job right now. Freelancing is your dream job. So from the very beginning, make it very clear what your goals are to get out of this. Do you want to have location freedom? Do you want to have time freedom? Do you want to be able to work from anywhere in the world? Make sure that the gigs that you're offering align with those personal goals that you have and set it up like that from the very beginning. Just a few hours of your time now can equate to hundreds thousands of extra dollars in the future. And perhaps you'll be able to eventually turn that side hustle into a full-time gig like me, working for yourself full-time and ditching the corporate world. Who knows, the possibilities are endless when it comes to freelancing. So what are you waiting for? Get started with freelancing today. Well, that's it for today. I truly hope that you found this video helpful and that you are ready to take action toward becoming a freelancer. If you found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe. I love, love, love getting any messages below. I will comment back to every single one of them. All right, so as we wrap up, thanks again for being here. And as always, peace and love.